trying to find a friend of mine it, it's it's very important I don't mean to interrupt you while you're talking to such a such a pretty girl uh, but this friend uh, see the last address I got on him is um, it's, it's right here in this bar which <laughs> seems kind of funny to me but I guess you Germans are very very efficient not to mention have wonderful senses of humor uh, well anyway maybe maybe you know this guy Evan Jerome. How about that wall coming down? One word of this to Lucy, I will string you up by your thumbs. I don't know why you think that I'm so blasted palsy walsy with Lucy. Maybe it's the way you're constantly sucking up to her. Lucy, I am merely trying to prop up a very precarious situation in that house. Well, you're right about one thing. If she finds out I was rifling Victor Jerome's stuff, she will throw us out. Yeah, if she talks to Frisco, she's going to find out exactly the same thing. Well, we just have to make sure she doesn't talk to Frisco. So, hmm, so you think, uh... Victor Jerome has a grandson well, floating around out there. as of a year ago. Well, he's had to be an extremely wealthy young gentleman if he steps forward and claims those diamonds. Well, it's fine with me as long as Lucy doesn't get them. Billy, really, seems, you know, fair to me. I mean, he sort of waltzes in, claims the diamonds, waltzes out, and, you know, no, not even a token of his gratitude. What are you talking about, Ashton? What I'm talking about is the... We've taken all the risk. We do all the work. We should charge him a finder's. A finder's fee? Nothing outrageous. Say, say, ten diamonds. Ten perfectly cut diamonds. Do you have any idea how much that is worth? Oh, yes, I do. You're right. A finder's fee. I like it. I like it. Five. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. What about Scott? Oh, Tracy, I realize that you have a very soft spot for old Scotty in your heart. But uh, take your ex-husband's advice and dump him. Scott wouldn't dare put anything over on me. Naivety does not become you, Tracy. For all we know, he's sitting over there in Berlin. He's cutting his own deal with his so-called Jerome heir. Don't you worry about Scott. Just keep your eyes on Lucy. <laughs> Commissioner Lucy called again. I put her on to Frisco. Thanks. Good. Well, Frisco is about to be a father. What? what? Yeah? <laughs> Felicia's in labor. She's over oh, the hospital. Wow. I'm going to grab Tiffany and get over there. Uh, See ya. Okay, yeah, I, all right? You know what? We should go as well. I think this might be a little difficult. Right? For Felicia? No. Frisco. Oh, oh, yes, she is. Did you tell her that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they all know. They all know. They all know. <laughs> it's my first time here in Berlin, and uh, are all um, German girls as pretty as you are? Yes. Oh, I kind of doubt that. Uh. You, you come here often? Oh, what a stupid American line that is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking for a friend of mine, uh, Evan Jerome. Do you know him? Yeah. You do? do you, 
Do you know where he lives? Yes. Good. Uh, you know, first time here and everything, how, how would you like to play tour guide and, and show me where he lives? Could you do that? Yes. Yes? Are all you German girls as agreeable as you are? Yes. Oh, good. Well, shall we go? Yes. Yeah, to, uh, to, to my friend's place? Yes. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna show me? Come on, let's go. What are you doing? Uh, I was, uh, I was just having a conversation here with your friend. Really? You speak German? Ed, n no. Well, uh, Berta doesn't speak English. Oh, sure she does. I just asked where my friend lives and she said... Yes? Yes, see, yes. She says yes to everything. Lucky you. It's the only English word she understands. Verstehen. 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 I was having a conversation and she didn't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> that's that's, that's yes? funny. Yes. Yes. Well, um, happy Halloween. Yes. Oh, by the way, Sean says Felicia is having the baby. That's wonderful news. Does, um, does Frisco know about it? Oh, I suppose so, yes. He's probably at the hospital right now, pacing up and down the floor. Oh, just think, Alan, it won't be long before you'll be doing that. Right, right, darling, and we can't wait, can we? No. You know what we should do? We should go over to the hospital right now. Why? Well, because I think us expectant parents-to-be should stick together. Really? Why? Tracy, I would not expect you to understand the joy that new parents feel. Funny, I can remember being a new parent myself. Really, I doubt it. It was such a very, very long time ago. Uh... Why don't we go to the hospital tomorrow? Oh. All right, darling, but I think I'm going to call Frisco and just give him our best wishes. What do you Why? think? Why? There's plenty of time to congratulate him after the baby's born. Sit down. At least that felt like you're glad to see me. <laughs> what, you thought I wouldn't be? Well, you did leave the party without telling me. I'm sorry. You just looked like you were having such a good time. Yeah, so did you. Till that little scene of Roberts. Yeah, wasn't that ridiculous? Yeah. Didn't bother you? No. Sure seemed to bother Robert. Well, Robert always did have trouble letting go. Do you? I treat people the way they deserve to be treated. Oh, well, there you go. I deserve to be walked out on. No, you don't. You deserve very, very special treatment, and I'm going to see that you get it. Uh-huh. You want to go to your place? What's wrong with this place? Husband, I'm going to go and um, slip into something a little more comfortable. Oh, slip, huh? Well, you do the same. 